you do need to know that if you are coming to Castella Branca for any reason that parking is a nightmare parking is an absolute premium so make sure you leave earlier for any appointment because you could drive around for about an hour trying to find a parking spot if you are coming to the central portugal castella branca area for farm hunting i recommend this teledense um, hotel it's very basic very plain but it's 20 euros a day and it's in an area that's easily walkable to restaurants it's narrow roads and alleyways the older parts and the streets are still all cobbled and the streets are quite narrow and there's lots of one ways and there's lots of circles so that's something to get used to some interesting facts about castella branco it's got a population of roughly 60,000 people and consists of 19 different parishes and you can get there by train bus and car if you hire a car i suppose the most likely reason for you going to Castello Branco is either if you're driving to Spain or you are looking to buy a property in central Portugal. So the city of Castello Branco all started from a fortified settlement on the summit of a hill and the population then grew from there on the slopes of that hill. And the name Castello Branco was confirmed by Pope Innocent III in 1215, so it's pretty old. There's a couple of really nice parks to visit in the city centre. And here is an absolutely useless interesting fact that all the statues of the Spanish kings who ruled Portugal when they, during the time they had invaded Portugal are always shorter than the statues of the Portuguese kings. I wonder what they're trying to tell us. Hmm. And another completely useless fact about Castelo Branco is that some guy called Amato Lusitano was born there in 1511. And you might be asking, who the hell is Amato Lusitano? Well, he's the person who discovered the circulation of blood. So there you go. Another pointless fact is that in 1959, Castello Branco became the capital of the Castello Branco district. So it's a pretty important place in that area. And in case you're wondering about the climate, it gets extremely hot. <laughs> so I think the hottest months are usually from June till September. When I was there, the temperatures were about 38 degrees Celsius. And um, the estate agent I saw there was telling me that they have four definite seasons. So um, it can get chilly in winter and you might even need to wear a jersey. This particular park was so relaxing to sit in. And honestly, there weren't that many people, but that could be because of this pandemic. Breakfast.
And you can see the castle on the top of the hill over there. Apparently it's a medieval castle, so I'll have to go and explore. So I'm at this old medieval castle at the top here, and this is the view of Castellabranca below. I suppose that must be remains of I mean, castle wall, I don't know, moat, we'll have to find out. Here it is. Apparently the Templar Knights built the walls and the castle in the early 1200s. So this is Dinkum really very, very old. So it really is a medieval castle. So I figure you can't come to Castellabranco and not come and see the remains of the castle that gave this town its name. The view from the top is quite stunning, I have to say, and there are some really good viewpoints from the castle walls. Shooting Castilla Branco is pretty good as well and I got to try a variety of cuisines in my week over there ranging from Brazilian to the traditional local food to Indian, fine dining, you name it. I managed to try it. So um, you will, won't go hungry if you are visiting Castilla Branco, that is for sure. And the food, I have to say, is really very reasonably priced. Um, the portions are always quite large that you often have to take some home with you. But definitely, you won't go hungry. has an enormous swimming pool which I think is supposed to be one of the biggest swimming pools in Portugal. It was closed because of the pandemic and there's lots of 
river beach is close by as well and then i made my amazing discovery i just love builders warehouse type places and i found the perfect one in castellabranco so i know i'll be visiting there when i start with my renovations this place has everything for your building needs and besides the regular supermarkets there's also a weekly farmers market where besides fresh fruit and vegetables you can even buy some chickens and other animals and plants for your garden so i'll see you on my next adventure <laughs>